Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture Program. Shout out to all my students. It's a beautiful day here in Chicago. It's early spring, I guess, and the weather is really nice. I hope the weather's great where you're at. Today, we're going to look at using stable diffusion, comfy UI, upscaling. So here you see an image, small image, 512 pixels by 512 pixels. But over here, you see a large image, 2048 pixels by 2048 pixels. So we're going to look at how to upscale with the four time ultra sharp ultra sharp model all right before we jump into it if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel what are you waiting for click on that subscribe button click on the down arrow to receive all the notifications help me get to 14,000 subscribers i'm so close there is something here for everyone there's ai there's 3d modeling there's parametric modeling there's real-time rendering. There is something here for you. Don't miss out on any of my videos. Also, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso, underscore my last name, Peluso. I just reached 12,000 followers, so I'm pretty excited about that. I've been making a lot of videos to help architecture students along on their journey, and they've been pretty well-received. Subscribe follow. Love to hear from you. All right, let's jump into today's tutorial. So I'm just going to cue the prompt up here a couple more times and you'll see it'll load the small image on the left and then that will upscale to the large image on the right. All right, so how do we do this? So I'm just going to start from scratch. I'm just going to start from the low default. So here's our low default. So this is just our basic default comfy UI interface text to prompt and I'm going to click on Q prompt and we'll just see what we get it's going to take a little while because it's got to load that checkpoint for the first time and there we get comfy UI's little <laughs> little bottle there the little beautiful scenery nature glass bottle landscape purple galaxy bottle all right that's the prompt for that all right so I'm going to use Architecture Real Mix is what I'm going to use. So if you don't, if you haven't used Architecture Real Mix, you can find that at Civit AI Architecture Real Mix. They have versions one, one repair, and one point one. I know recently we've had some issues with getting the latest version, the one point one. So if one point one doesn't work, try V one repair or V one point zero. All right, let's get that loaded in. All right, so that's loaded in. I'm going to get myself a prompt here. Go ahead and paste that in. So this is an eye-level view of a skyscraper made of steel and glass in the parametric style located in Chicago with mist and fog in the atmosphere. Park in the foreground. Greenery from park is growing up the building. Crowds of people, ethereal, heaven-like light, ambient occlusion, and soft shadows. All right, let's see what we get with that. Okay, I have the wrong checkpoint. So the the one one version of Architecture Real Mix is not is not working for me. So I've been using the V one the V one repair version is working. I'm not sure what's happening with the one point one. So just a note of case that's happening to you. 1.1 is not currently working, but V1 repair is. All right, so we have an image here, and I'm going to change a couple parameters in the K sampler here. So I'm going to set my steps to 30, and I'm going to set my sampler to DPM plus plus underscore 2M, and I'm going to change the schedule to Keras. All right, and let's see what we get with that. All right, not too bad, not too bad. 
All right, so that's a small scale image. We're here to upscale the image. All right, let's make a group. So I'm just right clicking and choosing add group. And I'm gonna right click edit group. And I'm gonna change the title of this group. So this is gonna be my four time upscale, four time ultra sharp, ultra, ultra sharp. <laughs> I have a hard time saying ultra sharp for some reason. All right, four time ultra sharp upscale. Okay. Okay. So where do we get our four time ultra sharp from? We're going to go to manager and we're going to click on install models and I'm just going to type in four X and I'm going to do a search and it's showing up here four time ultra sharp. I already have it installed. If I filter this to installed, it'll show just that one. So that's the one you need four time ultra sharp. Go ahead and install that. Make sure you click on the restart button at the bottom of the screen. Make sure you refresh the browser and just for safety, go ahead and click on refresh from the menu on the right. Okay, so what are we going to need first? We're going to need our load upscale model. And that's that has the four time ultra sharp dot PTH file in it. So where does that go? So that's going to go on your comfy UI directory. If you go inside your comfy UI directory, it's going to go inside of models. And it's going to end up in the upscale models folder, just so you know where this thing is going. When the Comfy UI manager installed it, that's where it put it. That's how Comfy UI is able to find it. All right, what's next? We're going to use upscale. Well, what's kind of interesting is uh, what I've been using with seeing what happens with Comfy UI is if you drag out these from these nodes, if you drag out the little wire from the node and you let go it will give you some some options basically of what it thinks it should plug into it doesn't always work for every node but for this one it does i'm looking for the image upscale with model and i'm plugging that one in there okay that has an image input and that image input is going to come from the vae decoder so i'm going to plug that in and then i'm going to i'm going to move this up here, move this down so our wires aren't crossing. All right, and I can make this bigger. And once it encapsulates the node, then I can move the group around and it moves the two nodes around. So I really like that. Okay, what else do we need? We need, we need an upscale image. Upscale image. And I like this upscale image because this allows me to define the resolution when I upscale it. And I am going to upscale this to 2048. Go ahead and make my group encompass that. All right. And the last thing we need, if I drag this out, you'll see that a save image is part of it. So I'm going to choose save image. And I'm going to make that huge. I won't know how big to make it until I, until I get my image um, there. But <laughs> we'll see in a little bit. All right. So let's cue prompt. All right. There you have it. Going from the small 512 by 512 to the 2048 image. Let's cue prompt that a couple more times. Let's get that as big as we can possibly make it. All right. Go ahead and cue that prompt. And that's all there is to it. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment on why you liked it. My head's going to pop up in the upper left. Click on that if you haven't subscribed. I'm going to put a video in the upper right and a playlist in the lower right. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one.